people, maybe how much money, I don't know. Uh, so this is my experience and this is gonna be my tips, my recommendation. I'm actually on a road trip to Naval and I have my husband right next to me. Hi. He's the driver today. So uh, we have like an hour. So might as well, I'm gonna do the video right now. So I'm gonna start. Um, first of all, you need to ask yourself why you want to do this is it because you want to get the license here in the United States and be able to work here and practice industry in the United States or is it because you just want to get the best education and you know just learn more about top technology 3d printer CAD CAM whatever it is there's no right or wrong um, answer uh, whatever reason it is uh, I'm just gonna give you the whole picture here so first of all once you graduate dental school in whatever country you are, you need to get all your transcripts, your dental diploma and whatever, all the paperwork that you need to. And then you're gonna go to ECE. And make sure you do the course by course, because that's in the future, once you pass all your dental boards, all your tests, the schools that you're going to be applying, they're going to ask the ECE report that is course by course. And please ask for a couple copies because you will need an extra copies. That's if you're if you're planning to apply for a couple schools. Um, if you're only applying for one, then you will need just one copy. If you're planning to apply to five, then you will need five copies. Um, so do that. ECE course by course and make sure you have extra copies uh, that's gonna take about seven to ten days and ECE it's a nonprofit organization and what they do is they evaluate all the reports that you guys have and they put it on a uh, on a grade on a US based grade um, and then they will do the translations and all the good stuff is taking the dental boards, the clearing dental boards you have to take NVDE part one and NVDE part two and I believe starting on 2020 which is next the next coming year there's no gonna be there's not anymore like it's not gonna be a thing NVDE part one and NVDE part two but it's gonna be an integrated test I don't know if it's gonna be a day or a two day long test Anyways, uh, first step is ECE, second step is clearing all the dental boards that you have to. Uh, the third one, the third step is taking the TOEFL. The TOEFL is a English level test where you have to do listening, speaking, writing, you have to write an essay as well and um, most of the schools they would like to see um, a grade of a hundred or above the test is the it's top 120 120 is the best grade that you can get but if you get a hundred it's considered that you have a very competitive English level so you might want to just work on that to get a hundred or above because the competition out there is pretty high. There's a lot of people who who are trying to apply to a couple of dental schools. So you want to make sure to do that. A, a tip that I will give to you that I've learned is it is better to take the TOEFL in your main country, in the country that you're from. It's better to take it there or, uh, rather than here in the United States. And that the reason why it's because the examiners, they're going to compare you with the other classmates that you're taking the test with during the day. Because like if you, for example, if you're taking it in Colombia and the other students, they might not have as a better English. As good of English. Right, as good in of English if you are you know living in the United States and you're actually t 
talking English every day. So that's a tip for the top of that. If you can go back and you're in the United States, then might as well take it. It's not a big deal if you know if you have, if you know that you have a very good English. Um, so that's TOEFL. You clear NBD part. Um, all your dental boards, and you're done with the EC. Then once you're done with all the tests, now it's time to apply. which is fun 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 it's actually very stressful you just gotta take it step by step and just do it because if this is what you really want to do then you really need to work hard and be very responsible so first of all before you apply to school you need to look and do your research of what type of school do you want to go do you want to go to a private school or do you want to go to a uh, state school which is slightly cheaper because as an international dentist a student it's always more expensive <coughs> but regardless in able uh, to be able to look for schools that take international trained dentists there's a website that is Cabot you planning to pay 
for the tuition of the school, um, why you like dentistry, uh, why this school, and stuff like that. And some other schools, they have the bench test, which is a hand, uh, hand skill test where they're going to require you to make a class 2 amalgam or composite prep, or they're going to ask, like, uh, do a PFM crown stuff like that that you need to practice beforehand because once you get the interview invitation you will only have two weeks to a month you won't have enough time for you to prepare yourself and get ready so <coughs> my recommendation will be as soon as you're done with the application process start uh, getting ready yourself for an interview in case you get one and as well as a bench test if your school requires to tell to mention is um, in order to take the NBDE the dental boards uh, the thing is you can only take those tests in United States um, uh, I think you can take that in Canada but I don't know if they're the same thing or not but it's better to just take it in United States if you're applying if you're planning to study here um, so the thing is you can only take them here so if you do not have a green card if you're not a u.s citizen then you will have to apply for a visa which uh, the visitors visa will allow you to come here and take the test which is a b1 and b2 um, and then you just have to go back to your country and then do the whole process um, and that's everything for today's video on the next one on the next video i'm going to make a q a video so if you have any questions just leave it down below and i will be hopefully doing more content constantly right bye bye sounds good Alrighty. so this is everything for today wish you the best luck work hard and towards your goal it's totally worth it <laughs>